And behind me, I have the Eiffel Tower. Really famous over here in Paris. I'm gonna go touch it. Let's go. Today I'm in Paris and I have a whole list of places that I want to go see so I'm, I don't have a lot of time to waste, I have to get going. Okay, this is one of the buildings that I wanted to come see. It's called the uh, the Grand Arch, and unfortunately, right now it's going under construction. They're uh, renovating all of the steps and all of the things on the window. But so far, it's a good building. Now I'm going to go to the uh, Louis Vuitton building, or maybe I'm gonna stay here and look at other buildings. So these tables were designed right in the middle, and they actually have connection plugs so that you can work there with your computer or whatever it is. And when you sit in the middle, you actually get a clear view to the Arc of Truth. Let me show you. Okay, I found this forest on my way to the uh, Louis Vuitton and I really wish I had more time to like get lost in here because it looks really cool and really nice. Would it be nice to just Take it easy, take some pictures, walk around. But I only have today and tomorrow, so I kinda have to hurry up and leave this place. Hmm. I really wish I had another day in here. Anyways, back to the adventure. That's the building right there, and this thing is crazy. Look at it. They made me a uh, took off my head, and now I get to see Frank Gehry's building. Okay, now it's time to leave, see you later. Now I need to go buy some food and then I'm going to the Arc of Triumph. Or maybe going to the Arc of Triumph first and then food. I'm still not sure, but I'm going there. The trucks on my board are really loose and it's really hard to keep balance on this thing right now. I can't go fast now. Now behind me is the Arc of Triumph, really famous place, and now I'm gonna go touch it. Actually, really nice texture, like 
has a lot of detail and you can feel like all of the little imperfections I actually like this one it's nice it's a bit dirty but nice good one You can rent those cars, 89 euro for 20 minutes. Okay, so I had a small problem. I, I already bought my ticket to go up there and I was doing the line. It probably did it for like 45 minutes. And once I got to the security for the, to get to the elevator, they told me that I can't bring my skateboard. So now I have to go hide it somewhere out there and hope that it's still there when I come back. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, I left the board. Hopefully it's there when I come back. And behind me I have the Eiffel Tower. Really famous over here in Paris. I'm gonna go touch it. Let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna touch it. Oops. Really solid. It's like puddling iron. The real deal. Okay, really cool up here, but it's literally really cool. So I'm going to call it a day, go downstairs, see if my board's still there, find food and then go to the Airbnb. Okay, the elevators are full and they're taking way too long, so I'm actually going to walk downstairs. I have no idea how many steps these are. I was told that these were like 600 and something, but whatever, way faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, way faster. Now I'm down here. It took me probably like six minutes to get down. I have to go see if my board's still there. Still there, still there, still there. So I looked around probably for like half an hour and kind of looks like the uh, the board is gone. Um, I think someone else took it or I don't know if it was the cops, probably someone else. Uh, and it really sucks because tomorrow is the last day and that means that if I had the board, I could have said that I used this the whole trip, but now, now it's gone. I mean the board wasn't even that good anymore the bearings were bad the trucks were bad uh, it was all scratched and at this point it was good to get a new board or, but the thing is that I used that board all over Europe and now I can't bring it back which is that's what it sucks really 